most of you yeah. who, who know me know that my main interest is the Spring Creeks in the Cooley country, southwestern Wisconsin, this, this area. And uh, so that's what I'm mainly tying to be because it's pretty much all I fish. I fish the Wapaka River, I fish the Pine River um, in this region. Oh, yeah, I gotta stop. I gotta start. Pay attention. I gotta pay attention. Okay, Jose, um, have you used it? Have you guys used W loops? Okay, I'm gonna use that tool to do it. Okay, I use this tool for my dubbing loops. I see Tim has got one over here. But anyhow, um, this basically it's a couple of guitar strings is what it is. I I make a loop and I secure the loop. And I run my, my thread up to the eye. And this would not be for you as a beginner to start off doing this. You want to do the other way. And we'll tie one more the other way. Then for this fly, we'll use this black squirrel. And we'll use this. Uh, but if I were you, I would just use this stuff. Okay. I would ignore the black squirrel and the uh, hair zero plus. But this is a mixture of black squirrel and hair zero plus. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make a noodle. So to speak, I gotta wax, wax one side of this loop. Make a little noodle with the dubbing. And what this gives you is a little more spiky box of a body, which I kind of like. I tell you, 85% of the ones I have in my fly box are tied with, with this stuff. And you just lay it on one arm of the loop. And you kind of close it. Now I can see I'm gonna need a little more, so I can just drop that. Did I use only dubbing up here? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just mix a little more dubbing. So a little more hairs that are plus, a little more black squirrel. This black squirrel met its demise in the Wapaka area. It's a local, local critter. And I'll tell you, if you if you keep your own, if you if you if you do road kills. Or if you hunt and things, and you and say you shoot wood ducks for their flank feathers, and say you you pick up squirrel tails and dead squirrels off the road, fumigate them. Uh, you know, get what you need, and then put them in a Ziploc bag and spray some Raven and let them sit for a while. Okay, now I'm just spinning this dubbing loop. What freezing them? Does that do anything? No, no. Spin the dubbing loop. And well, uh, you got a nice, really a nice thing oh. for dubbing. Then you just create your body, plump, go wow. up to almost, about, you'll leave about a, a little less than a third, and I got just about the perfect amount of dubbing there. And you got to leave a little room right behind the hook eye and just get rid of this. And then this really spiky stuff here, got to capture that so we don't get out of control. You can just kind of brush it around. And then this is too spiky, so you can just trim this. And you always trim on the, on the top of the hook, because if you trim down here, you're going to cut your throat. Then you hear the sound of the clunk of the bobbin <laughs> hitting the floor. Okay, so that's a nice body. Back to our our hackles. Hackle pliers, we were talking tools a little while ago. Everything, when you're tying a bunch of flies, so everything, easy grab. This is easy, that's easy, and these things stay over here. And this thing always stays right there. And also, I like a clear, nice gray background between my eyes and the fly. I don't like shiny things in my way. I like a nice contrast. Again, we grab the fly, end on, or the feather, end on, and it usually will just flatten out absolutely perfectly as you start. One, two, three. This one didn't flatten out totally perfectly, but it's not the way it was before. Capture these. 
and we almost have ourselves a really great Spring Creek film fly. Thank you.